Hi, this is Dave Silveri with Patch.com. You've waited 10 long weeks, and finally it's here. The playoffs are here, and Moore Park is ready. We have to be balanced. Uh, you know, we're going to have to run the ball with a little success, but I think uh, we're going to have to get our passing game on track early uh, for us to have success. <laughs> Musketeers are ready, so let's go to the highlights. The opening drive started out a little rough for the Musketeers when Dennis Falloon hits Dante Bavis on a 30-yard strike, followed by a four-yard touchdown run by Dion Morris to cap off an 80-yard drive. The Musketeers trail 7-0. Moorpark wouldn't let a seven-point deficit phase them. They've seen great teams all year, and Coach Linz is ready to get the offense going. And he does when Grant Rojas connects with Alex Tolliver for the 57-yard touchdown reception to tie it at seven apiece. What a pinpoint accurate throw by Rojas, and now he can enjoy it a little bit on the sidelines. The touchdown inspired the defense, who played lights out the rest of the first half. At the beginning of the second quarter, Rojas hits senior running back Tyler Peterson in the flat, and he makes two jukes to pick up the first down. Then, Rojas finds Jerry Shumway on a seam route for the 13-yard touchdown reception to cap off an eight-play, 66-yard drive to give the Musketeers their first lead of the day at 14-7. Rojas has reason to celebrate on his second touchdown pass, but he and his Musketeers weren't finished scoring yet. On the next drive, Rojas finds Brady Barnhart on the play-action rollout pass. A couple plays later, it's Rojas hitting Sheldon West on the screen pass for 28 yards to get the Musketeers inside the 10-yard line. We've seen Rojas do it with the pass, but now he wants to take matters into his own hands with the run. Look at the toughness he shows to stay in bounds and get the Musketeers inside the one. On the next play, Rojas finishes it himself with the quarterback sneak to culminate an 11-play, 70-yard drive to give the Musketeers a two-touchdown lead. The score, 21-7. Following a big punt return, the defense holds Mira Costa to only a field goal at the end of the first half. The score, 21-10, more part. The Musketeers are anxious for the second half as they're just 24 minutes away from a familiar position, the quarterfinals and they started the second half in great form. Rojas hits Brady Barnhart on a slant route, then he keeps it himself for 10 yards on the option read, which leads to this Alex Nelson 40-yard field goal. It's up, and it's good. The score, 24-10, more part. Mira Costa would answer back with a one-yard touchdown run to make it 24-17. On the next drive, Grant Rojas hits Sheldon West on a skinny post route, but the Musketeers would be forced to punt. But the defense in Lance Poole had the offense's back. Poole makes the diving interception to seal the game. On the ensuing drive, Rojas hooks up with Jerry Shumway for the first down, which leads to this game-clinching 37-yard field goal by Alex Nelson. The final score. The Moore Park Musketeers 27 and the Miracosta Mustangs 17. Oh, it feels great to go back to home. I thought I wasn't going to get a home game after my last regular season home game. So it's just a good feeling. And I'm excited. Well, it's exciting because we went against a real physical football team and, uh, you know, we weren't sure how we were going to match up, but our, our guys really stepped up there and played tough defense and, uh, and and got a rhythm going on offense. Oh, it feels great to be in corn files. You know, all of our siblings always got there. And, um, you know, it feels great to get back to that place where we were last year. And, you know, our record, I don't know if our record reflects how, you know, hard we work and how hard we play and what, what kind of team we are. But, you know, it just feels, it feels great to get back there. Go for it! Woo!